22. This is the 5200 block right here. There it is. What's happening? It's your boy Grouchy Greg chilling. About to go in here and check out some legendary Philadelphia artists. You know what I'm saying? We out here, 52nd. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Philly? You know how we do it. So I'm about to go in and check out some new MCs, Tat Money, and the originator of gangster rap, Schoolie Motherfucking D. Let's see what we see, y'all. What's happening is Gentle Jones. I'm here in Philadelphia, 52nd and Walnut Street. Just ate some fried fish with some fucking french fries. About to see Schooly D do a thing. It's a very glamorous locale. The night is crispy, moist. The light rain sprinkles down upon the old asphalt. I think even the sidewalk is older than me right here. Here, the legendary Philly Zone. You want to run down your credentials? What's good, man? Allhiphop.com. You know how we do it, man. It's the land of the DJ. DJ Tap Money, you know what I'm saying? Taking it way back. And then fast forward. Now, man, tell, tell them about Philly's, Philly's role in, in history and in hip-hop and the DJ. All right. I want to say like this. Listen to the Grandmaster Flashes. DSTs of the world. Big up to them. Much love, but uh, we took it to another level. <laughs> Thanks to them, you know what I mean. I heard Grandmaster, a bitch with Grandmaster Flash, and I'm like, get it. I'm going up here. <laughs> now, now you you remember back in the day? I hate I hate to talk about this, but Philly and New York had a little rivalry with the Juice Crew disc coming out on, on you know dissing pop art. I mean, they were out on pop art dissing the guys up in Queens, right? So what do you think about the Beans, Jay-Z, modern-day Philly, New York thing, man? What do you think? Wow, you're bringing it back right now. To tell you the truth, that first, that full scene, Shan, he actually liked Shan a lot. But um, it was a political move, you know what I mean? The day they did a lot. And, you know, it goes to violence or whatever. But I think Shan might have been a little hurt by it. But I told him, I told him it, was, it was all love, love. He was just doing that in the street. You know, management. But today, I think, you know, Bane, yeah. <laughs> you heard the records, obviously, so, and he got more and so, so, hey, I, that's a real one right there, man, that, that one is, like, heartfelt, so, yeah, he got, he got some to get off the chest, so, I, I don't know, I think Jay gonna be pushed to say something back, <laughs> the Bane's a bad boy. <laughs>
founder of motherfucking gangster rap in the motherfucking bathroom in Philly, 52nd Street. What's happening, man? Yeah, they just wanna treat me like a motherfucking star, cause I got cocaine in the big ass car. That's my drop. Yeah. <laughs> the truth. Yo, what's good, man? What's what's been up, man? What you been up to? Um, we doing a 100th episode of Aqua Team Hunger Force this week. Been over 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Y'all down with uh, Adult Swim. You know what I mean? Uh, and uh, I just finished um. Uh, 11, 12th album, um, of Hunter Man, it's called, um, International Super Sport Part 1, and, uh, you know, we're doing, like, these gigs, these small gigs, so we can get it tight for those 100 hours, you know what I mean, so we be tight like the roots, you know what I mean, you gotta be tight, that, that's the competition, you gotta be tight like the roots, you know what I mean, that's what we gotta do, so that's what we're doing here tonight, you know what I mean, let everybody see that, you know, what's going to be next, the intelligent gangster. Yeah. <laughs>